As you may know, about a month ago, we here at the show had the idea to contact Grady, the character from Sanford and Son. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. And we wanted to uh, put him on our show and help him revive his career, just the way we revived uh, John Travolta and Tony Bennett's career. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? We did revive their careers. We anyway, uh, this, this whole project turned out to be a lot harder than we thought. To make a long story short, we couldn't find Grady. Nobody has seen Grady in years. Yeah, uh, he still had an agent in Hollywood, but they didn't get back to us despite our repeated phone calls. So uh, we started to get a little worried. I mean, we thought Grady might be in some kind of trouble. Or, God forbid, maybe Grady had even been hurt in some way. So ladies and gentlemen, we turned to the American people to help us out. We set up a 1-800-Grady hotline. We asked people with information about Grady's whereabouts to call us. Well, folks, the response was overwhelming. This is no joke. So far, we've received over 50,000 phone calls, including this one from a woman in Oklahoma, which we aired on our show a couple of weeks back. My name is Joe Kennard, and I live in Enid, Oklahoma. And I don't know where Grady is, but I just thought it would be nice to let you know that back in 1975 or 76, I had a little dog, and I named him after Grady. That was on Stanford and Son. And he lived to be over 12 years old, so he was a special puppy. Okay, bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you, Joe. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, despite uh, thousands of, uh, we got all those calls, despite mm -hmm. that, we actually got thousands of reported sightings. Uh, a lot of them actually in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, where, that's where we got them. We don't yeah. know why. Not a single concrete lead turned up. Nothing. Now, f then we thought, actually, we thought we had a breakthrough when these photos arrived in the mail anonymously. But folks, they also turned out to be just another dead end. None of those photos were Grady. Well, anyway, that brings us now to tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've tried everything. It hasn't worked. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we've decided to bring in the big guns. Liz, could you roll the tape, please? Grady Wilson, by all accounts, was a kind and gentle man. A man who almost 20 years ago to this day suddenly disappeared without a trace, without so much as a goodbye. The story of Grady Wilson's mysterious disappearance begins over 20 years ago at the Sanford and Son junkyard. Grady would spend a great deal of time at Sanford's in spite of the almost constant fighting between Fred Sanford and his son Lamont and a woman known as Aunt Esther. These arguments would often culminate in a call to the police. Big old ugly woman here. Send a dog catcher to get her off my property. What money? Off my property. I want this woman off my property. I've been out to that place three or four times. There was always a lot of yelling and screaming. I always felt that one day things would get out of hand. That day turned out to be March 23rd, 1976. Fred Sanford was moving car parts in the junkyard when suddenly Aunt Esther appeared demanding a donation for her church fundraiser. Why don't you go drink a big glass of shut up juice? Why, Fred Sanford, I never. And I bet you never will. I remember that day. Oh, that Fred Sanford could wow me up. A fish eyed fool. We must have been loud, because Grady came out of the house to see what was going on. Grady was about to break up the fight when Fred said, S, are you so ugly, I'd rather kiss Joe Frazier. Suddenly, Aunt Esther swung her handbag at Sanford, but he ducked, and she struck Grady. I was so mad, I just kept yelling at Fred. We didn't even notice what happened to poor Grady. Grady apparently got up and staggered away from the junkyard. He has not been seen or heard from since. What has happened to Grady Wilson? Grady is 5 feet 10 inches tall and is 65 years old. He walks with a stooped gait and may have a long white beard. If you have any information as to Grady Wilson's whereabouts, or if you just want to talk about Grady, please contact the Conan O'Brien Grady hotline at 1-800-881-3192. Thank you, Robert Stack. I think with Robert Stack on our side, we can't lose. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. 
If we can't find Grady, Robert Stack can right. do it. God bless that man. It's All amazing. Right. We're going to take a quick break, folks. When we come back, Tyra Banks is with us tonight. She's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. It's a great show. Stick around. We'll see you.